Hello, this is Gata7, and today I am going to show you how to do some custom new Super Mario Bros. DS assembly hacks, or ASM for short. But for this tutorial, the first thing you want to do is get HXD. Now, how you get that is go to mhnexus.de.net this I should post the link in the description if I don't then just google it okay so what you want to do is hit the download page now I am using a Linux computer but you should be able to do this on Windows maybe Windows I don't know about Mac because I don't use Mac in fact I don't really like Apple to begin with so now you obviously want the English one. You want to hit the UCNet download. I know. And you just want to hit the download now right under the HXD. And then you should see that all this on the bottom. Okay, so once that finishes downloading, you want... Okay, just get out that. Oh, I accidentally did again. Well, okay, so you want to extract the archive somehow, and then you want to run the program, and then install it. Obviously, I'm not going to do that since I already did, and I'm pretty sure you know how to install files. If you don't, then look it up. Also, if you don't know how to install files, it's probably not a good idea to be ASM hacking in the first place. So now... What you want to do is go to the new Super Mario Bros. Hacking Domain .net. Then you want to hit download the new Super Mario Bros. Editor. Now, this is not the version we want. No, it does not exactly work with the version I'm using. So, we're going to go to previous versions. Hang on, I'll just like. Okay, so once you have the. Once you are at the downloads folder, you want download version 356. This is the build we want. Why? Because the newer version cannot do some things that the older version can't. Now, once it finishes downloading, you want to just like go to your downloads folder and extract the archive. Okay, you could delete the zip after it's done. And then I'm just going to put, I'm just going to take all this stuff and put it into here. There we go. Make sure it's empty. Delete it. Now we're going to go into this folder I conveniently renamed for the sake of this tutorial. We now have all the software you need. Now, I already have a new Super Mario Bros. ROM in here, I know. I'm, like, so original with these names. But, try and find one. You need one of those. Otherwise, you can't do modifying. If you don't know how to get a ROM, or, like, I will not tell you. In fact, I will not give you any hints at all. Nope, I'm sorry. It's just for legal purposes. Now, in case you're saying, are you like a pirate and just like download this ROM off a website? No, no, no. I did this a legal way. I have an official copy of the games. So, I'm doing this for like backup purposes and everything. I have a legal copy of the game. Just getting that cleared up. Now, with all that, I could just... Hang on a second. Now... I will post a link to this, but we're going to look at some official new Super Mario Bros. links. Hang okay, so the place you want to go to is the... You want to go to the forums. Now, I will post a link to this. If not, you'll have to find it for yourself. Now, we'll go to ASM Hacking. Then, we're going to go to the Mist Patches Friend by Skywo. Now over here, he'll have a bunch of things over here, or hexadecimal codes, 
that you could always go to for reference. We're going to use those because I have not like used them myself. Just ignore that. That's recording my screen. First thing you want to do, open the new Super Mario Bros. Editor 5. Okay, so now we have the ROM over here. And you want to open it, the ROM. Now you want to hit the ROM file. Go in the file system, go to the ARM9 overlay table, and you should see a bunch of files. Over here, you're going to want to decompress the overlays you want to do. Just in case, um, we're going to want to do one through well one through fifty would be a good number so I'm going to go ahead and decompress all these overlays but first I must tell you how to do it if some are already decompressed don't worry about it but you literally just keep on going decompressing overlays this is important for the next step it is recommended that you do a pretty good number of it just in case you need like exit find the exit decimals for later did I do that one? No. Okay, so now if you want to like say this, it would say it's already decompressed. I did 1 through 50, which is pretty good amount because there's not many overlays you'd want to do otherwise. Now once you finish that, just X out of it. And then we're going to open up our hex editor. Now I have the link right here. You should too on your desktop somewhere hopefully if you don't then just run the program somehow oh whoops sorry accidentally put a new file you want open I was working on that earlier for the sake of this tutorial we to go to the rom.nds now you should see a lot of here a lot of stuff here now you could change the, the beautiful thing about this is you could change the save file by editing this and this okay here's the thing though if you edit this which is the ROM ID number you cannot use cheat codes or you cannot edit the levels yet so I suggest not doing that till the end and this I'm pretty sure this just changes the name of the same save file, but I'm not too sure about that. I'm not like a hexadecimal. Well, technically, I am a hexadecimal hacker, but I'm not exactly the best at it. I'm, I literally just started this today, so. Okay, so let's just gonna say you want always play as Luigi what you want to do is just control C this go in your hex editor search find make sure it's on hex values and all paste that and you should find it if it doesn't find this then you did not decompress archives correctly or you're not using a US ROM 
a valid US ROM like I am. Now you can just copy this, control C, then hit control V. It should turn red, don't worry. Get rid of that by hitting control S. That's just to let you know of the changes you made. Search, and then find. Control C, Control V. There we go. I'm just going to leave this open just to make sure it doesn't interfere with the emulator. I'm going to X out of the file. I'm not going to X out of that because it's unnecessary. Now I'm going to go to my emulators, DSMUM, file open ROM. Once again, I was working on that earlier. Hopefully this doesn't lag the video. It does say Mario game. I don't know how to change it yet, but I will eventually. It doesn't have any save files because I didn't do it. Okay, you know what? Just, you know what? Just because of that, everyone hates the opening cutscene. So we're going to get rid of that. Control C this. Go to a hex editor. Search, control F, hex values. Go here, control C this, and control V. I'm really surprised that no one made a video about this because this was pretty confusing to me and it took like a whole day. Yesterday and today, no wait, that's two days, in order to figure this out. Also, you can, like, squish all these Goombas. Yay. Okay, so, once I copy that. Wait, did I already do it? Well, I'll find out. Just going to control S this. Going to open the DS Mume. And we'll find out whether or not I got it to work. As you see, it does. It did work. There is no opening cutscene, and there's a Luigi icon, meaning I am most likely Luigi. See, it worked. And then you could just pretty much do this with any of these. Not only that, but they have more hacks in the comments. Some people put up. Yeah, might as well just X have this DS meme. It's like like. It's just like annoying me with the slow music but if you enjoyed this tutorial pre please like leave a like or even subscribe if you're feeling generous but <laughs> I know most likely there are barely any new Super Mario Bros hackers out there but if you are one then hope this helped you in some way